the mats. Well, let's stay with that story now. Let's talk to Alexander Main, who is Director of the International Policy at the Centre for Economic and Policy Research and joins me now from New York. Um, Alexander, good to talk to you. First of all, um, seeing what is happening on the streets of Venezuela, considering uh, President Trump's words, how tenuous is Nicolas Maduro's position right now? Well, I think it's less tenuous now that uh, the day has passed. Uh, I think there were fears, real fears, that there might be a military coup d'etat. And in fact, you've had hardline sectors of the Venezuelan opposition that have been calling for this for a while, and particularly since um, Juan Guaido named himself uh, president of, of Venezuela in uh, President Maduro's place. Uh, so that created quite a lot of tension, particularly with the U.S. providing very full support for Juan Guaido and his declaration. And um, there were fears that uh, the Venezuelan military might uh, be involved in a coup. Uh, and in fact, you've had uh, U.S. officials uh, in the past that have openly called for a coup in Venezuela, as well as um, Senator Marco Rubio, who is very, very close to the White House and its policy on Venezuela. Um, and, and that didn't occur. But it is a rather intractable situation that I think uh, the U.S. is uh, making significantly worse. And you've had a number of countries, particularly Mexico and Uruguay in the region, that have called for de-escalation, called for uh, dialogue between both parties. And the U.S. is obviously taking a very different line and uh, taking a line that is leading to a, a hardening of positions on, on both sides. Um, and so th this is going to make it very, very difficult, I think, to move forward and to find some sort of resolution to the current crisis there. And I suppose it underlines the importance of the military in this situation and what role they could potentially play in regime change if it comes to that. Well, absolutely. I mean, and, and this is a problem, of course, when, um, you know, you have sectors, both from uh, the government side and from the opposition side, that have decided that really the uh, ultimate arbiter of Venezuelan democracy is the military, uh, then, uh, you know, the demo democracy is in a very weak spot uh, indeed. And, and it is unfortunate that the U.S. is, is contributing to this. Um, uh, you know, there have also been reports, of course, that uh, senior uh, U.S. officials, this was reported in the New York Times last year, uh, met with um, dissident uh, military officers from Venezuela um, who were uh, asking for help from the U.S. to carry out a coup. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a very real fear. And, and of course, uh, Venezuela is very divided, very polarized. Um, a coup uh, certainly wouldn't lead to an end of things, even if they did uh, get rid of the current government, uh, it would, I think, initiate the beginning of a, a very bloody and ugly uh, civil conflict in 